Alright, what is up guys? Of course always, welcome back to another OU battle, which is truly the Scarander. And this week we're actually going to do um, more focused on Trick Room team, we're really trying to get greedy into uh, it's going up against Jaja, and uh, well, OU we decided on, and OU we get, ish. Hey, that's a Mewtwo. Hey, and the Cinderace, is um, OU ish. Anyway, I see two things here that could be good for me. Um, first and foremost, since we're going for Ubers, there are a few like lead ways that works for me. But um, really cool to see my chomp. Um, you don't see that way too often. And Ferrophone actually are slow enough to be annoying for me. So I think my ideal leader is leading off with Gemini to uh, basically gauge what he wants to do. Um, there is nothing on his team besides Mewtwo to pressure me a whole lot, and I guess to an extent Machamp is up there. But I should be able to get a few free, a few free <laughs> uh, trick rooms at least uh, one or two times this game, and hopefully we get something out of that. Um, but Jaya's team look tough, and uh, they usually do. Let's see, leads up with Ferrophon. That's good. It's not the worst. Um. A few Pokemon deals with it head on, but uh, he literally saw that I was um, gonna trace those iron barbs. That um, that had a real switch into him. Um, there is no jump play for me going for play here. Close combat should threaten him very, very, very easily. And um, since that scrap bit, there's no real easy switch in. Let's see, body press. Oh. Good play, my man. Good play. That's actually did not expect that. Um, I go for that easy, easy close combat. I think we're actually are outspeeding him, even though we have zero zero IVs. Yeah, there we go. So that's fair. Four out of the way. Um, bit surprised to say then he did have three switch ins there. Um, more so Gengar, even though Gengar doesn't necessarily enjoy this matchup. But uh, I mean. Wow, yeah, a lot of recall here. Uh, we do have Bullet Punch, if Gengar comes in, we're gonna try to gauge that and get as much damage as possible in there. Really surprised sitting with Fear F1. Um, bring some Mewtwo. Um, Mewtwo is not the worst, I do have switch-ins for it. But, um, as always, really, you know, you don't wanna... Um, you don't wanna reveal too much. But Ava is a very, very easy switch-in. Um, and Mystical Fire makes sure it doesn't out damage us at all. Um, Air Lace, physical. That's cool. Um, I get off my trick room here, I'll see what he wants to do. If I were him, what would I do? Like, Shadow Ball is a play. Uh, Brutal Swing. This is. This guy does not know what he's dealing with. That did a whole lot though. Probably a bit more I should had. But um, this is a weird, weird Mewtwo. With that said, I think I think I can rather safely bring in Oldwin here. Yes, he can go for Brutal Swing again, but um, I don't fear this. Yeah, we take that right. Um, Poltergeist, you do a whole lot of damage onto him. Wait, no item. Oh no. Oh no, what? No item? I guess joke's on me then. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Yeah, there you go. I'm back. No item. So maybe not the most serious game here. I'm sorry, folks. Um, how many more turns do I got? Two more turns. So we could go for a wood hammer and uh, knock ourselves out with his brutal swing. Wood hammer should do a whole lot of damage. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. And brutal swing should be able to knock us out. And if it doesn't, it actually means we win this matchup. Which it basically means um, We take the knockout and then we're gonna have to be forced to reset 
the, um, the trick room basically. How often do you see that? Cronin beats a Mewtwo. Um, should have beaten him a lot easier, however, if um, you know if Davius was in place. Um, right, so reset the trick room. Brings in Gengar, that's alright. Gengar don't threaten us all that much. Or theoretically can do stuff to us, but we will no matter what actually get um, get our trick room. Unless it's Focus Blast, I don't believe he can kill us. Oh, he Dynamaxed. That's that's nasty. Then again, like like I said, what can he do to this set? I can probably recover stall him. Let's find out. His move of choice is Max Knuckle, most likely special. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I'm not even sure that is um, that was based on Focus Blast. All right, so I figure he will do something like that again. They're gonna send in Ava and just really, really dent him. Oh, Max Terra. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? I don't mean to be crude, I actually wanna know. Why did he do that? I'm clearly mute to that. Did he predict that? I feel hardly. Okay, how many turns do I got? I got three turns of absolute terror for him. And which Pokemon we're we dealing with? The way I see it, I can easily Dynamax and just really, really bring the pain. Because at this point, I need to break him. I'm pretty sure a max earthquake kills him. Unless he's Sash. Because Sirius Mewtwo wasn't with an item, I feel. I feel I am in a good spot. And everybody lost themselves on Desotroya. One of my absolute favorite Pokemon is absolute Rhyperior. They should be an easy KO. Um, yeah, he was Sash, so what about that? But I christen everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. It just the graphics. I am like an overexposure on um, on the screen. So anytime like um, I go for a move, it just feels like uh, when it, when it's Dynamax, it have like the the, the purple ish um, on the screen feels like it always survives when I kill them in a Dynamax form. Oh, my jump! Oh, my jump! I am not sure, buddy. I am easily claiming kills here. I think Desotroya just do too much. It could survive it for sure. Um, I'm, I'm counting my blessings here, but Rhyperior, Brave, Max Attack, 140 base attack, plus that 140 base uh, plus stab, Earthquake. Yeah, there is power behind those moves. In, in an insane amount of it. So, yeah, I mean, what do you do from this point? I think Rhyperior just wrapped this up, actually. Because we're still out speeding, and um, his last Pokemon is Cinderace, and he will not be able to do anything here. So we're just claiming our kills and call it a day. All I can say to my opponent is that, um, you know, make sure to grab items, even though it probably would have been disadvantage disadvantages for you, as it would have been Trevenant, would have been able to KO that Mewtwo with ease instead of look like a fool. Hey, Pokemon Lab! I remember that. That's a serious team right there. All right, so let's let's give us guy give this guy a go. His best move to me should be high jump kick, and we should be able to soak that quite right. High jump kick, there I go. Libero, and that'll do. They're all right. Yeah, they're all right. 
Another quirk here will... It could very well KO anyway. Yeah. 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 So there we go, Rhyperior did what Rhyperior does, and that is a lot. So, uh, to my opponent, Jaja, GG. Good about the shorter side of the battles. And again, Trick Room with Hyper Offensive. Yeah, they tend to be rather short anyway, but uh, this should have been slightly harder, I feel. But with that said, as always, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day, everyone.